about a thing that God gave me. Look at somebody and say, get rid, get rid. of your excess, excess. baggage. Number one. Number one, thank
said he wanted to talk about exit tax. Yes, sir. When you go to the airport, now the only way you can fly and get baggage that's free, you have to go southwest. Right. But I mean, you know, I'm here to tell you it really ain't free. You ain't paying for it with your bag, but you're paying for it in that right. ticket. Right. So now we get ready to take another flight. God wants to free you. We found out this morning in Sunday school that the Word of God saves. Saves you from what? Saves you from whatever situation you're in. You need the Word. How I many you know if you just get the Word? The Word will free you. The Word will liberate you. And not only will it free you, the Bible says it'll make you free. It don't even ask you. It'll make you free. When you learn better, you do better. When you don't know him, if you don't know what he's expecting of you, you can't do nothing. Am I right? Well, I'm so glad I'm first. I ain't got to go behind y'all. I'm glad I'm first. Amen. Thank you, God. So when you know better, you will do better. So once you learn what the Lord, he said, take my yoke upon you. Upon you. Why? That means he's taking a tray. Cat, somebody needs to take what you're carrying. Somebody came up in here real heavy today. It just feel like if I take another step, I quit. It, it's a prison here. Somebody want to quit. Somebody got, it's feeling hopeless. Feeling like I ain't going no further. I quit. But I'm here today to tell you that the Lord said, no, cast your cares upon me. Why? Because he cares for you. So God is making a switch in the spirit right now. It ain't too many people that you'll find that'll take what you carry in. And give you something a little lighter. Yes, right. It ain't too many people in here that'll help you out no more. Yes. Come on. I don't care how heavy you are. I don't care what your burden looks like. I don't care what your problem looks like. I don't care what your situation looks like. God telling you, I'm here to take it from you. Yes. How I many you know that when you give your life to the Lord, it doesn't mean that you ain't going to go through nothing. It just means that you got somebody to help you through. It's one thing to go through by yourself, but it's a whole nother thing to go through with Jesus. Is there any other witnesses in here that know if you cast them upon me? Now let me help somebody. When you are worried and you cast it upon the Lord, that means when you give it to him, you're not worried about it no more. That means he got it. That means you trust him. So if you get up off your knees, if you get up off your chair, if you get up off your bed, and that situation is still on you, you need to tell the devil, I'm not. I done dropped it. I done gave it to the Lord. That don't belong to me. He gonna work it out. Any witness in here say he gonna work it out? He gonna work I want you to look at somebody and say, drop it. It's just too heavy for you. You need to let it go. It's too much for you. You need to let it go. I think you need to let it go. You can't do nothing no how. So fix, you can't fix it. Don't make no sense for nobody to lose no more sleep after tonight. The Bible says that he don't slumber, neither do he sleep. That is all. And it's surely on your situation. So why are you losing sleep? Don't make sense for both of y'all to lose sleep when it ain't nothing you can do anyway. You can't fix it if you could, it wouldn't have been a problem. I said you can't fix it if you could fix it, it would never have been a problem. So God don't allow nothing upon you that you can't carry no way. He, he trusts you to be able to come through. Oh, I'm looking at some situations. Some of them have been placed on you because God is trying to pull you to him. How many know that problems will make you pray? I said problems will make you seek after God. Problems will make you hunt. It'll make you hunt for you. You don't look for any of your God, I'm looking at this church. You don't look for anybody. Somebody. Come give me a word from the Lord. You're looking for help. Anybody in here need help? Yeah. So this is going to help somebody. It's going to save 
somebody that when they leave here, they don't realize, oh, I ain't got to carry this. When you leave here, you ought to be on drugs. 